What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to your weekly roundup of eFootball 2023. Short video, lads, but just a couple of things to talk about because I have been getting a couple of questions. We are going to go through the contracts first and the new players and stuff. Uh, as you see here, there are new special players. I will have a review up on the channel very, very soon for that. Um, we will have the three boys there, Rijkaard, Van Basten and Hullet. I mean, they look really, really good on paper, lads, but I'm going to get into the nitty gritty of them and we're going to train them up with a training guide. We're going to show you a bit of analysis on them as well. And then we will probably do a bit of a spin as well. So who knows? Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a pack opening for that. Today, I am thinking of doing a live stream. So if you guys are around, we will be doing a subscriber showdown live stream and see what the crack is. Hopefully, if we're able to get on at lunchtime or around that. Um, we also got the worldwide player of the week for February uh, the 2nd and these again there's a couple of players in here I mean Martinez we just had a card of him Akuna Matata um, not a bad player either we've got Casper Schmeichel at a 94 we will do a review of all of these as well there's a couple of nice players in there but to be honest with you lads you know unless you're a very 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 new to the game these players should not be changing your squad you know what i mean it's as simple as that there is one or two in there hidden gems or whatever if you want to call them um we also have the milano event that's ending in three days and we will have a new event coming next week or a new player selection next week which you guys can see here it is the merseyside derby day special players so there's four from liverpool or five from liverpool, sorry four from liverpool four from everton as is normal and those are the players there um yeah a bit of a strange selection i will say but we will get into that next monday when we can do the reviews obviously these player levels need to be updated so anyway back to the actual game itself right and uh we'll get into a couple of things there's also inzaghi is in the shop for five thousand points i have a review and i will be doing a short review on inzaghi i have him i think he's a beast if you are starting off you're a newcomer he's definitely worth having on your bench or even having up front he just scores so many goals man now, anyway, right, there is another couple of things to talk about as well. Obviously, make sure and complete and compete in the event, the e, the e football Open Challenge, right? There's also the Italian League there that they have recycled. And then you also have this Italian League here. So one is against the users where you get your 50 coins. And the other is against the AI where you can sim it or play it yourself. And you get your chance deal for your player of the week spin. Now, the first qualifiers, lads, a reminder that there is only five or three days 15 hours left on this now i still need to play my games man i um i need to play this these two rounds to get through so hopefully i have time to do it um you know hopefully we'll do do a bit on stream today and see what the crack is and also the league the eFootball league will be repeating itself and uh resetting itself quite soon as well so what else is there to discuss right well just a little bit on the actual eFootball open itself and this is something that i noticed when i was matchmaking um the first couple of games that i was playing if you are right so basically they say that we have discovered an error in the matchmaking settings of the ongoing eFootball open specifically participants are being matched up based on their previous online matches and results instead of our, our the original intention of matching up all participants at random so i think the best way of of describing this because it can be a little bit confusing i saw a few people ask me on twitter today what it actually meant and on youtube um they do say that they are going to be changing it from the round two of the qualifiers onwards all participants will be matched at random right so basically what it means is anyone that's familiar with call of duty or you know like skill-based matchmaking Obviously, in eFootball and any online game, there is going to be a matchmaking system in place that is going to ideally match you against a player of similar skill level, right? So, for example, if I just download the game today on a brand new account, you know, and I'm coming up against a Division 1 guy, like, it's not going to be really fair for me because that Division 1 guy might have 500 hours pumped into the game. You know, he'll know every in and out. He'll have an unreal team. He'll know all the meta stuff, all the mechanics, every animation, He'll know how to, you know, do everything. And obviously, yeah, you know, you could still beat him if I'm a beastly player, but it's just going to be harder for the average person. So, you know, what you would ideally be liking in online games is that if I'm a Division 4 player and that's where my skill level is for the month, I'm going to be matching up against Division 3 and Division 5 and Division 4, you know, players. So that we're at a similar level, we're at a similar, you know, point in our journey. Um, now, with this online qualifiers, right... 
I've had people that have literally just downloaded the game last week and they've got like a team that is nowhere near good enough to be competing. But they're going on to do obviously the qualifiers. It is content. It's extra stuff to play for. And they're coming up against Division 1 guys, right? Currently for me in my eFootball league, I think I'm Division 4. I just haven't really had time to play. I've been doing a lot of reviews and I'm working on a lot of other projects as well that I'll announce quite soon. But yeah, there's been a lot of lot going on for me, um, which is exciting. But I, it means I just haven't had as much raw time to sit down and actually smash out the games. So for me, I am in Division 4, I think I am, um, in the eFootball League journey, right? But literally in my last four or five games um, that I play, yeah, I'm in Division 3, right? So I'm seen as a Division 3 player as of right now okay but i have obviously got to division um one before but what they this kind of says is that it's going to be matching you up with division three players from there on in division three division four whatever that's kind of what they were taking into consideration when they say that was that they were going to be matching you up the, this matchmaking as it is in the qualifiers are matching you up the same way as the eFootball league matchmaking works so they will search for somebody that's in division three if you're in division three if they can't find somebody they'll go either division two or division four if they can't find somebody in that they'll go either division one or division five so it is very random the longer you search and the longer you wait to get a game right Obviously, there's no control over that. It just depends on the, you know, whoever is on at that time that matches and hits the criteria of your matchmaking uh, criteria, right? So I was playing in the, in the qualifiers, and I think I played six games in a row that I came up against Division 1 opponents, right? Um, you know, obviously, I like, I won a couple, I lost a couple, I drew a couple, um, because, you know, Division 1 opponents are used to the game, they know exactly how to play it. But, yeah, it, it can be frustrating for newcomers, obviously. Um, so just, obviously, be aware of that. It is good. I mean, I think it should be random. Obviously, if you get a beaten and, uh, you know, of 10, 12 nil, that's, that does nobody any good. But, you know, I mean, I think that's the only way that you will improve at the game. And that comes down to, obviously, playing the game more, the more you play it's all about uh repetition man in, in video games in online video games it's limited mistakes you know punishing when you get chances i'm creating lots of chances but my sharpness isn't there so you know i need to play a few more games um instead of reviewing players and spending so long reviewing players and analyzing players but anyway that is it for me let's just another short video um let me know if you're going to spin or skip on the ac milan pack i was thinking of doing a subscriber showdown live stream today um so basically start the live stream um, maybe open a couple of AC Milan packs. They would make a difference to my team. I think Hollett and Rijkaard would be beastly for my squad. I'm not too worried about Van Basten because they have a lot of strikers up front. But let me know. And then we play a couple of subscriber showdown matches as well. I will have two huge announcements coming soon. So make sure you are subscribed to keep up with the latest news. And I will talk to you in a bit, lads. Hope you have a good one. And I will chat to you later. Peace.